Anolis is a genus of small lizards that are found in North, Central, and South America, as well as on most of the islands of the Caribbean. There are close to 400 different species, and they occupy a variety of different habitats. In nearly all species, adult males defend mating territories. In order to keep other males away and to attract females, they perform visual displays that consist of up and down motion patterns of the body and extension of a colorful throat fan called the dewlap. Dewlaps of different species come in many different colors. In our laboratory, we study the processes that led to the evolution of the diversity of dewlap colors in anoles. We are particularly interested in the relationship between light conditions in the different habitats where they display and the color of the dewlap. In nature, during the daylight hours, all objects are struck by light from the sun that contains a wide range of different wavelengths. The color of the object depends on which wavelengths it absorbs and which it reflects. For example, a surface that absorbs short wavelengths and reflects longer wavelengths appears red, while one that absorbs long wavelengths and reflects short wavelengths appears blue. When biologists study animal colors, they typically shine a white light that consists of nearly all visible wavelengths onto the surface and measure how strongly each wavelength is reflected back. This measurement is known as spectral reflectance, and it is the most commonly used measure of color in nature. Dewlaps are somewhat unusual, however, because they are quite thin. In addition to the light that reflects off their surface, a great deal of light passes through the dewlap from behind it. When light is transmitted through an object, it can occur in two different ways. If the light rays pass directly through without changing direction, the object is at least partially transparent, like glass. However, in many cases, as light passes through a thin object, the light rays are scattered in all directions from the surface. We call this diffuse transmission, and an object that exhibits diffuse transmission is said to be translucent. It turns out that in many species of anoles, the dewlap is translucent. It passes as much or more light through it from the back as it reflects from the front. When scientists measure animal colors, they usually shine a light on the front surface and measure the light reflected back. In order to measure the color of a dewlap, however, we have to account for the large amount of light that passes through it. As can be seen in this picture, we measure dewlap color by putting lizards in a special holder for just a few minutes. We shine a light onto one side of the dewlap. We then measure the light reflected back, but we also measure the light that passes through the dewlap. During these measurements, lizards were handled briefly, gently, and carefully. Afterward, they were quickly released, unharmed, back into the wild at the location where they were captured. In addition to measuring how the dewlap of each species transmits and reflects light, we go out into the natural habitat and measure the light that strikes the surface of the dewlap in order to calculate what dewlaps look like in different light conditions. By doing this, we have figured out that for many species, the light transmitted diffusely through the dewlap is just as important, or even more important, than the light that reflects off the surface in determining the brightness and color of the dewlap. We recently completed a research study on the dewlap color of a species from Jamaica called Anolis lineatopus. Anolis lineatopus is found in moderate to heavily shaded habitat. The dewlap is strongly translucent. When light strikes it from the side opposite the viewer, it lights up brightly and actually appears to glow. This occurs because light striking the back of the dewlap from any direction is scattered and emitted from the surface as though it initiated there at the dewlap. To some viewers, it makes the dewlap appear as though it were a light source. We studied the selective advantage of this type of dewlap. 
Having a dewlap that lights up when it is lit from behind is extremely advantageous for species that live in shaded habitats. Brightly lit colors are easier to detect and recognize when they are better lit. By lighting the dewlap from both the front and back, the entire dewlap color pattern is more intense. This makes the colors of the dewlap more vivid and more easily distinguished rapidly from other colors in the habitat. Thus, the colors on a translucent dewlap will stimulate the visual system of members of the same species and make the visual displays much more effective. This kind of translucent color pattern is found in many different Anolis species that occupy shaded habitats.